Hi, I'm Emily Caggiano and this is another episode of Dissecting with Emily. Uh, for today we have for you um, the T-Rex holotype denneries. We have the left and the right dennery out. Uh, we got these on loan from the Carnegie Museum of Natural History a few months ago. And today we wanted to show you some close-ups of the pathologies that these bones have. Um, so the first one that we're going to look at is this really large hole that's present um, on the lateral side or the outside of the right dentary. You can see that the inside of this hole is kind of smooth while the outside is more ridge, uh, has more ridges. And so when this was first discovered, uh, people weren't sure if this was caused by a bite that then got infected, um, just a bite in general, or the result of eating um, food that had been infected with some kind of disease. And it wasn't until actually 2009 that it was proposed that it was actually caused by a protozoan uh, parasite called Trichomonas. Um, and if you actually look down here at this other small pathology that is uh, present, we think it is also another um, infection from Trichomonas, which hadn't progressed as far while the animal was alive. So if the animal had lived longer, it would have progressed to look like the first pathology did. And so if we uh, move on to the next pathology, kind of slide down here to the edge of the dentary, um, you can see that there's this kind of large area that we think um, provides evidence for face biting that the T-Rex often engage in. And so um, the first part that we wanted to show you is this deep gouge, which we think was caused by a tooth. Uh, it's smoother on the inside with some uh, extreme ridges on the outside. So we think that would have been caused by a deep gash from a tooth. Um, contrast, we have um, kind of a smaller ridge, which we think might have just been caused by a tooth dragging along the bone. Um, and third, we have this kind of ridged area right here, uh, which may be caused by a puncture um, that then healed over. We're not exactly sure. And so these pathologies um, provide evidence that these animals lived really aggressive um, and violent lives. Um, these pathologies are also evidence for what is called periosteum remodeling. And so in life, um, all bones are kind of covered by a fibrous sheet called periosteum. And when a wound occurs, the periosteum then works to remodel the bone so that it can um, heal properly. So these are all healed wounds. But the problem that comes with this um, for paleontologists and scientists is the older the wound is, the harder it is to tell what happened because it's been um, more and more kind of remodeled and fixed by the periosteum. And so we want to look at one more over here on, this is uh, the left dentary. Um, so there's kind of this large um, mountainous area right here. Um, and the interesting thing about this pathology is that it's, this is actually the medial side, so the inside of the left dentary. And so if this was due to face biting, um, it's kind of a weird orientation. And so it would be kind of something we wanted to look more into and how this could be caused by that behavior. And so this kind of shows that even though we think of the T-Rex as this top predator, um, they do still get wounded and injured um, and need to heal, as shown by these fossils. And so we're excited to look more into these bones, as well as the other bones we have on loan from Carnegie, and see what they hold for us. And so with that, I'm Emily Caggiano, and that's all for today.